Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use T-Sheets by QuickBooks. So the first thing when you're going to log in, what we can see here, we are going straight to the tutorial guys. So the first thing, what do you want to do with the QuickBooks time? Send time to QuickBooks, track projects progress, let's say, communicate with the team, schedule assigned work, connect to payroll, I'm going to sign everything. Click next. Now let's get to know you. And then industry, let's say construction, commercial, size zero to four. Click next. How will workers track time? Mobile phone, computer time, kiosk. I'm going with a mobile phone. And computer. And here we are. So I'm going to show you uh, what you can do, skip for now, and how we can actually use it. So straight away, my recommendation, guys, is to set up a company. You can add up projects. You can simply add customers, uh, then pay on over time. So these are the first things that I would definitely recommend to do. So add a project. When you're going to click add a project, straight away, you're going to see project here. So I'm going to click add a project and then project, let's say YouTube channel. Now, when you have the project, you can simply add a project start date, let's say from 30 to 3rd of August. And then I'm going to add a description about the project. Here we will create YouTube videos. Now, when you have a project, you can also add a new customer. A new customer is going to be, let's say, Marcus client in your project. Then click add. And voila, here we got it. So now I'm going to press continue and then add an estimate for the project. So you can have it by hours, by tasks. So let's say uh, we would have a YouTube channel and we are going to create YouTube videos. So I can track it uh, by the finished tasks, right? Or by hours, that's completely up to you. So let's say 50 hours, add an estimate. And now we see it right here. So this is our project. We have actual versus estimated zero hours work, date progress. We have three, four days. And then what I can do, I can also add a posts. Now, when we have it, what I can do is go back. And this is the project that we have. We can simply add more projects in the future if you want. Now, what I can do is to simply click where the setup company, payroll and overtime, click on that too. And then what is your week start day? Sunday, Monday, you choose that. How often do you run payroll? Let's say monthly. Then next, and overtime setup. So if you do actually calculate overtime, if so, you're gonna fill this up. If no, you're just gonna press done. Onboard team members, this is another thing that I definitely recommend, is to add the team members. So I can simply click here, add a team member and I can import or I can uh, scan a share code or I can add it manually. So I'm going to add Marcus uh, member and then you would add an email address here, mobile number and role if it's an administrator, worker, payroll manager and you can invite them by uh, send a text message or send an email. So a message to team member. If you're gonna have an email, this is what they will get. Add one team member. And now, voila, here we got it. So when you have a team members, what you can do then is to simply schedule shifts. So when you're gonna click on a schedule shifts, here you have, look, Marcus member. This is our employee. This is myself. So I can simply, this is for today. I'm going to click on myself here and I can schedule a shift. So I clicked here, title, shift for YouTube videos. I can choose a color and the start date, today. Start time, how much I'm going to work on a, uh, on a shift. Customer, for which customer I'm going to work for. This is the customer that we created, so Marcus client and project. So this is the customer and this is the customer pro, a customer project, which is called YouTube channel. 
Then we have a location here. And then we have notes that we can add. When you have it, what you can do is to simply publish. And this is uh, the shift that we have. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Now when we go back to the getting started, we have three things already finished. And what's next? The next thing is a prepare for payroll. We are not going to there yet, but I'm going to show you the basics of it, how it works. So you see the review and approve time, and so click on it. You would have all the, you would run report, you see for all the people how much time they worked and then you can approve it right here. Then you can r run payroll re report. We will see when we would have like, if you're gonna fill a lot of stuff, you would see right here the uh, run report and you would see everything here. Now, when we have the getting started and we have everything finished, the next step is time clock. So time clock, is of the clock, right? Top, clock in, I can simply click clock in that right now I'm working. So this is how uh, each of the employees can come, click on a time clock and then they start working. So I can add a project post if I want, or I can add notes. Now on the right side, we see that it's going to grow. Then we have a scheduling. We already learned how to use that projects. We already also learned how we can simply create and add a project in T-Sheets. Then we have who's working. So right now you see the search team members. If you're the owner or the CEO, you can always add and search for members in here. Then you're going to see the time entries here. So time entries. What I can do is to simply add a time and team member, that's me, time in, time out, currently working, customer notes, duration, you can edit everything here. And now I can, let's say for today, PM. Marcus Client, YouTube channel, click save. So as you can see, we got a time entry for these eight hours. And this is what people can like add later on. Now, when we have it, I can go also time off and people, or you can add a time off here. So add a time off so I can search team members, continue, code. If it's going to be holiday, sick or vacation, let's say it's going to be holiday. Eight hours. Okay and then we're going to click save. Now, when we are right here, you see that it's approved, approved. Duration, eight hours. You can again edit it as much as you want. Now, the next thing are approvals. Approvals, this is the time that we were talking about that I already added hours. So we see that I can Marcus member or myself here. I can click approve. So first we need to remove the clock out. See, approved, approved. And this is how we can actually do it. Now, uh, when you have it, you can also click here on a payroll report. And you have all the reports here uh, and all the exports, payroll, tracking and everything you need. Now, under that, you see my team, where you can simply add teams. Then you see customers, where you can simply add a customers. And then company settings. So about your information, the account access, payroll over time, etc. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. If you're going to have guys any questions, ask me down below in the comments. 
and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.